Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Borderlands. Last time we did a couple of missions around here in the Rust Commons East, and today we're going to continue that. We're going to grab a car here, and we are going to head on out, if I can get off of this thing. There we go. And we are heading right over there to do a mission real quick. So, let's see, I already went past where I need to go. Oh, not yet. Not yet. It's right over here. And then, um... Around here to the right, or something like that. Wait, wait. Oh, it's up there. I think it's up top. Let's head up to the bridge here. And... Whoops. Really? I clipped nothing there. Alright. Oh, my goodness. There we are. So, basically, you gotta get out and grab this thing. And then a gigantic spider ant is gonna spawn to try and kill you. Because it is not happy about you taking that sample. I can't imagine why, but you know, you can see, well, I guess you can't see. Uh, the controller is vibrating quite uh, viciously. There we go. Just gotta shoot them in the face enough times, then they get dazed and turn around. Ooh, jeez. Wow. You can absolutely just hop back in your car and run them over, but they are so like tough compared to other spider ants, there's a decent chance you'll just blow your car up. Uh, on impact with them, so that's not a great solution. Um, but if you really don't have the gear to fight it on the uh, on foot, then you know running it over is an option. Also, if you kill it, you know on foot, you get a lot more XP than if you just run it over with a car. And XP is a good thing since it's kind of like a mini boss almost. They're worth quite a bit of XP compared to like standard spider ants or other enemies. And the last one is over here, somewhere. Uh, there it is. What am I hearing? What is that sound? What in the world? I don't know what that sound was, but let's put that in there. Or grab it, I mean, not to put anything in there. We're grabbing something out. I thought there was a chest right around here, a weapon chest. Could be wrong. Oh, where are you? Hello. Hello. There we go. Yep, just get him to turn around by dazing him like that, and you're all set. They get quite a bit easier to kill that way. Also, we leveled up, which is a big deal. Hey, look, a masher. Uh, hey, look, a machine gun. That is not as good as mine. Uh, nope. Nope. Pass on that. That's not the inventory button. That's the inventory button. There we go. Uh, skill points. We were going down into this healing one here. There we go. I could have sworn there was a weapon chest over here. Oh, well, there is one weapon chest I know of that I'm not going to try and go for. I'm pretty sure it's right over there-ish, but there's actually, like, a hidden chest off the uh, cliff and stuff that you're not really supposed to know about. Um, and you can't really come back from it without just killing yourself. But uh, that is that is one chest that's over here. That's not the one I was thinking of, though. You can't really see it. It's like way over that way. You gotta like, you're gonna be skirting the edge of what you can do in terms of uh, the turrets not killing you when you try to go out of bounds. It is technically out of bounds, the chest, but. Um, okay, well, we got that taken care of. Let's see, oh yeah, Old Haven stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy, Old Haven. All right, fine, let's go to Old Haven. I hate Old Haven with a passion, but we'll, we'll go there anyways. <sighs> Get it over with, you know? Wait, let me make sure the recommended level on that is, like, not ludicrously high. No, we're good. We got this. <sighs> oh, quiet, you. I'm just moving right on by. Some more spider ants. And Old Haven is right here. do 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 do, -do. Here we go. This is, uh... Well, there's a reason that New Haven is called New Haven. And, um, well, here you can see why. There are some bandits around. So... There we go. We've investigated Old Haven, and now we get to shut down these smoke signals. Good on our earlier threats. The Crimson Lance now consider you as much an enemy as any bandit. If they're gonna be killing indiscriminately, 
You need to defuse their little trap before New Haven residents get hurt. Fight your way through Old Haven and put out their smoke signals. I'll reward you well once the job is done. So you can see these bandits are dead. And this is actually going to be our first real run-in with the Crimson Lance. Who was, uh... Who's, uh, kind of led by that Commandant Steel lady that we, uh, were spoken to by a little earlier. About, uh, turning in the Vault Key. And turning myself in for finding parts of the Vault Key or whatever. Um, oh yeah, I got a suggestion as well to upgrade my Revolver SDU if I'm going to be using revolvers more often. Good idea, I like it, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and what else can I get rid of here? <sighs> uh, Chrom Sidearm I think we'll get rid of because we have the other good shock handgun there. Double Anarchy we'll keep for the time being. We'll keep the Incendiary Viper, that's our decent shotgun. We don't really need that. We don't really, I don't, yeah. It's a, good, it's a good bit of damage and a pretty awesome chance to hit, but it only has two shots, so... I don't know, I guess we'll keep it. Lightning Stinger. Ooh, now see, I don't know if I want to keep that or if I want to... Let me sell that. Or if I want to keep this. Hmm. Hmm. See, the Fury has more DPS, but... This has a higher shock chance and a bigger magazine. You know what? We'll keep the SMG. Burning Law... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on here. I have a, another... So that's 199... 123. And this guy has a really high incendiary chance. Okay, we're going to keep that one instead. It only has two shots, but I mean, out of the two, I'd rather have this. Um, painful shotgun. We have a better shotgun than that. Sniper rifle. Is that, a, is that one of our good... That's our good sniper that we were going to hold on to, right? We don't need this anymore. We don't really need that. That's not bad, but... Um, yeah, we'll get rid of it. Sure. Uh, that is also not bad. In terms of damage. The Vicious Sniper or the Hard Sniper? Hmm. Hmm. Seven rounds per minute. Or seven rounds in a magazine. Slightly higher rate of fire. Slightly higher accuracy, but slightly less damage. I'm going to keep the Hyperion and sell the doll. Um, the Masher, I'm probably not going to use. The Carnage, I'm not going to use. Not going to use. Not going to use. Not going to use. Nope. And nope. And nope. There we go. Uh, Transfusion Grenade, meh. Contact Grenade, meh. Okay. Reaper's Edge. That's one of our good snipers that we're keeping. Um, the Detonating Revolver, I guess we'll hold on to just because it's the only blast weapon I have. The Double Anarchy, honestly, don't need it anymore. It's probably a little weak anyways at this point. Honestly, don't need that anymore either. Um, the Fanged Violator. I honestly, I don't think I'm going to keep this. It's a legendary, but it's just not... I mean, we have better stuff. I don't know. We'll keep it for now, I suppose. But um, Man, my wrist is cramping. It's like 95 freaking degrees outside, even at 9 o'clock at night. Like, this is crazy. Bandit Treasure. Three corpses. Search Old Haven for keys and a locked strongbox. Cool. I'll do that. There's one of the keys right there. Um, so the smoke signals, you can actually like look up and see the smoke signals. It's not like a, you know, go find these things, but you can't actually see them. You can, you can. There are some, you know, I can imagine there would be plenty of games where it's like, go find this thing and deactivate it, but you can't actually see the thing. You just have to go and look for a waypoint. Um, the smoke signals are actually a thing. So these ones that you see here are not just like for effects. They're not just ambience. They're actually the objectives. So that's that's good. We can leave this mission deselected, or that mission deselected, and keep the bandit key one selected, and uh, and uh, we'll be fine. Oh my God! The first one we see is a badass. Why? Why? Why me? Um, also, corrosive weapons work really well against them. So, let me get my Pestilent Defiler here, like so. And this guy, in particular, has this big old shield that if you hit it, you can see it doesn't do any damage. It only did damage that time because my elemental chance proc. Did he just drop... What the... I found another Equalizer handgun. I literally just found another Equalizer handgun. What in the world? Oh. Okay, that was weird. Oh, please tell me I can actually hit him. Yes! Ow. 
Ow, ow, ow. So, I got another freaking equalizer. This one is different, because it's like a masher-style equalizer, and this is something that's cool. Even amongst legendaries, there can be some good variation. As you can see, these are both equalizers, so they both have that plus 10 ammo regen that's like the special effect. But look at how different the revolvers actually are. It's like night and day, they're not even the same kind of gun. So that is really cool. That happens to a much lesser extent in Borderlands 2. If you get a, if you get a legendary, you pretty much know what you're getting. Every time. But in this game, even the legendaries can have a significant amount of variation to them. Which I think is really cool. Ow. What, are, why are you... You're a jerk. You know that? I can't... I can't even... Wait, wait what? I, I can't actually hit that guy. Like, at all. I... What? Alright. Apparently you can't look straight up when you're downed. Because that's cool. Thanks, game. Um... The Lance are annoying. I hate them. Uh, I hate fighting them. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, jeez. Do you mind not running around? Like stop! Stop! Just stop moving. There you go. Thank you. Jesus. They're so annoying. I hate these guys. With a passion. Gun. Gun. Really? Now I feel like I'm playing World of Tanks again. I'm doing everything right and the gun is just like, nah, nope. <sighs> Oh, hello up there. Oh, God. What is it with the badasses, man? Stop it. Okay, please. 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 Just, I want to, I want to kill him. That's all I want. Hey, uh, hit him in the head already. Come on, man. <sighs> this is really annoying. Thank you! Oh my god. More of those luck-based mechanics that we know I just love. Corrosive rubberized. Now that could be amazing. Um, let's see. Corrosive rubberized. And it does more damage than my current grenades. Now, the cool thing about rubberized grenades is that they are also contact grenades. They bounce around like crazy. But they do act as... They do act as, um, as you can see, they go nuts. They act as, uh, impact grenades as well, as you can see. Man, oh man, oh man. Meh, uh, oh, hello. Ow. Really? My batteries are low already? Man, the thing about rechargeables is, uh, they, they don't last very long. Um, but at least I'm not spending a lot of money on batteries. There we go. Um, meh. Meh. Explosive longbow. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of longbow grenades. Okay, I was on my way back there. That's where I was. Before I freaking died. Why does my wrist hurt? If either of my wrists were gonna hurt, it would be the left one for playing my guitar too much. But it's my right wrist. That doesn't make any sense now. Jeez. Ow! These guys are jerks! The shield is not very effective, as you can see. This is why I so rarely try to hide behind it, because it's not like it's incredibly helpful. But when I have my, my sh uh, healing effect around here... It at least provides me some incentive to stick by the thing. I should just I should just hip fire most of the time with this scope on here. I can't actually like see what's happening most of the time if I try to use the scope. There we go. <sighs> I'm getting a lot of grenades in here. Um Man, these lance are everywhere. I hate them so much. Ow, what the hell kind of revolver do you have? So many of them have, like, really crazy revolvers, apparently. What I'm noticing here. So, I was kind of hoping this masher equalizer would be awesome. 
doesn't seem to be all that awesome. So, whoa! You are not... Oh, God. Oh, God. I fell down. Oh, God. This is not good. This guy is going to be a serious problem here. Because he has a rocket launcher and I just fell down. <sighs> please. Can I catch a break, please? Got to go all the way back up there somehow. I don't even remember how I got up there in the first place. Here. I threw a grenade right before he died. Or someone did. He corroded to death, though, which is good. Come on, man! I hit the button! Jesus! I I hit the button to jump, and it just didn't jump. Jump, thank you. Jump, thank you. Oh, my goodness. And the rocket launcher he had wasn't even good. Well, it's better than mine, but it's not elemental, which sucks. Because dot is very important, as we well as we've seen in these first opening fights here. This episode, oh god, I thought I was gonna fall down again. Um, there we go. So I'm just gonna kind of put a dampener on the on the fire here, like so. And there we are. And it should actually extinguish the fire. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. What now? Got to go this way. I really, I hate Old Haven, the passion. It's confusing to get around. There's a whole lot of rooftop work, um, but as you can see, sometimes the jump button doesn't actually let you jump, which is annoying. Um, just you know, stuff like that. This is really not doing the kind of damage I wanted it to, for being a masher, a legendary masher. Ugh, there we go. Uh, incendiary SMG, meh. Shock bouncing Betty, that's not bad. Um, I'm gonna try and use some other weapons here. Let's see. Uh, we can try this blast revolver instead of the masher because the masher's not doing much. We can try this shock submachine gun. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go with these. That's a decent rate of fire to begin with. I mean, once I get Metal Storm going. That'll probably be awesome. Um, where's another smoke signal for me? Well, there's one over there. I'll try to head that way, I suppose. There's a turret around here somewhere. One of these. Yep, there it is. Right there. I knew it. Where are you? Turret. Boop, 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 boop. There it is. Other oh, two? There's two. And they're both auto turrets. Oh, yeah, two shots. Fight them. My own turret. Jesus. This is madness. <sighs> Old Haven, I hate you so much. I can't even hit these stupid turrets, dude. I'm gonna have to use a sniper rifle, I think. I almost get these guys shooting at me constantly. And of course, I have an inaccurate sniper rifle. Oh, please. Oh, come on, man. Uh, it's not that inaccurate, dude. Like, seriously. Thank you. There's one. Gosh. Hi up there. I'm never gonna be able to hit you in the head. At this point, it, like, it doesn't even matter if I'm aiming at his head when I pull the trigger, because if I'm, like, off a little bit, it'll probably just miss and hit his head anyways. <sighs> and then, of course, there's somebody right the hell in front of me. Somewhere. Somewhere. 
Where are you? What the oh god. No. Kill the engineer. Kill the engineer quickly. No. The engineer. Kill the engineer and this turret will go away. There we go. Ah, good. I can hide right here and not get shot and also heal all at once. Isn't that great? And, well, it was distracting the turret for a moment there, at least. Come on. There we go. Ugh, stupid turrets. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate the lance. I hate this area. I hate everything. No, please, I didn't even hit him. Down, I'm gonna be able to kill you. Ay, ay, ay. Man, oh man, oh man. I hate all of this nonsense with the lance. <sighs> There's a weapon chest here at least. Let's open that up. I'm, I'm not complaining that we found legendaries, I'm just complaining about which legendaries we've found so far. Because I would really love to have. Some non-revolver legendaries. We found four legendaries over the span of a few episodes. Like, what? Four legendaries over the span of three episodes, and three out of those four have been revolvers. And all four of them have been a handgun of some form or another. And I would really like to find, like, a legendary shotgun or a legendary combat rifle or something like that. So, you know, that would be, that would be ideal. Thankfully, I don't know of any more turrets that would be around here, so we're going to go back to using this, um, and we're going to have the good combat rifle on as well in place of that SMG. I think this was working better in terms of damage, so... There we go. Corroded to death. Ow, ow. Come on. Go down already, you. Ta da! Okay. Bit of health there. Meh, meh. And what was that? Oh, hey, my objective right there. Cool. <clears throat> Another smoke signal right over there. I should I should switch my uh what's my jigget to the um corrosive, my my artifact on my turret. There too. Yeah, there he is. Badass infantry with a really crazy gun. Crazy SMG or something. Where are you? I don't have any grenades right now either, which is not helpful. Nope, didn't get a grenade. Stop moving so much. Or yeah, run right at me. If you're gonna move anywhere, run towards me in a straight line. There you go. Yeah, just like that. Oh, we had a purple SMG. That might be worth something. Oh, it's a double anarchy as well. Neato. Um, let's go find something crappy to get rid of, like this old combat rifle here that I'm never going to use. And let's try to use this double anarchy. We'll see how it goes. Um, once again, you know, Metal Storm will really help us with this, but... Oh, more turrets. I hate turrets. Why do you hate me? Game... Hit the critical, hit the critical, hit the critical. Of course not, of course not. No, no, no. No, that'd be crazy talk. Hit the critical. This kind of range. Eh, whatever. I don't even care. Got it. Oh, hi. Er, what are you doing here, buddy? Really? Man, if you don't get a headshot on these guys, they just stand up to just about anything, it looks like. Hi. Oh, that one gave me a critical somehow. Again, I know that I'm not taking a lot of time to aim here, but the, the inaccuracy is so bad that even if I'm not looking at it, I might hit it anyways. It's not like it's helping me to aim at it a whole lot, so there we go. 
I'm not trying to aim away from it. I'm just not trying very hard to put my reticle on it because I know it's not going to make a huge difference either way. If I can kill one of these guys, I can get Metal Storm going and maybe do something useful. Try to heal very, very quickly. Nope. And of course, my turret goes away when I die. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Don't move. Don't move. No, no. Stop moving around. Stop moving around. There. Yeah, that was close. <sighs> just, just make it stop. Just make it stop. Make it all stop at this point. You know, just man, oh man. I really wish that my equalizer revolvers were stronger so I could use that ammo regen for this guy, but yeah, it's not worth having it equipped just for that. Maybe in between fights, but even then, I don't know. It's a lot of extra effort just to get a little bit of ammo back. And ammo's not even that expensive. I mean, if I desperately end up needing ammo, of course, you know, I, I would do that, but I don't imagine a situation anytime soon where I'm going to need ammo that badly. Hello down there. Let's see if my incredibly inaccurate gun can actually hit you. Yeah. Ow, jerk. You like barrels, do you? How do you like that? He was too far away from it. Ugh, oh, corrode to death already, you son of a gun. Man, oh man, oh man. <sighs> okay. Um, smoke signals, let's see, we got one more somewhere, bandit treasure is the other one we're doing. There's a claptrap over here, he's for another mission later on, not for us right now. Wow, time really flies when I'm not actually checking the time obsessively. Like, I didn't realize we're already 28 minutes into this. Ooh, class mod, eh, wrong, wrong class. <sighs> Um, alright, let me look at shields. I think I picked up a couple of shields along the way. Had decent capacity. This one does, but, eh, I like the health regen on mine. It's, it's pretty slow, but, I mean, I'll take what I can get, especially in here with these lance. Um, yeah, well, okay, I guess we're gonna move on then. Uh, that way, right over there. I hate Old Haven with a passion. Oh boy, oh boy. Nope, nope. Ah, fine. Oh, wait, there is a third bandit key over here that I need to use. Or grab. So let's let's do that. I'm glad I turned around and looked real quick. There we go. And the strong box is just over there somewhere. I'll worry about that in a minute. Um, I want to try and do this uh, smoke signal very, very quickly. And hopefully not let the episode run insanely long. Just gotta, oh, if I remember this one correctly, this is one of the more annoying ones, simply because it's in a smaller, more compact area. Get that good corrosive damage on this guy, if I can, like so. Try to stay inside of the area as well. There we go. Inside the healing area. Up, 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 up. There we go. There's, an, uh, there's a, a good bit of recoil on the on the handgun when I hit fire. It's just enough to be difficult. Um, Where is the smoke signal? Oh, it's over there. Right there. Hurry up and hit that. There we go. That one's done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to find that strong box. There we go. I love getting headshots with this revolver. It's really, really satisfying. No, nope, leave me alone. I'm just gonna run away from you. I don't need to fight you anymore. Leave me alone. Only positive about fighting the Lance here in Old Haven is you get a good amount of XP for it. Uh, as you can see, we, we got to level 20. We started this level episode at level 28. Probably about this much of level 28. This percentage of level 28. And we hit level 29, and we're about back to that point again here at level 29. So pretty good. Good XP. It's the one saving grace of this that helps me make it feel like it's worth it. Oh, look at this. Uh, re re oh, treasure map. Shit, they don't know how to spell. <laughs> I never actually looked at this. You are here. Oh, shit. Danger. Fuck that. <laughs> Alright. 
Um, the map marks the location of a doll headland. Perhaps something is hidden there. X marks the spot. Well, that would be interesting to go and check out, but that will have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Borderlands. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next video.